Okey baik, kita bertemu kembali. Fungsi generatif AI yang luas mewujudkan peluang luas buat pelbagai sektor untuk meraih manfaat daripadanya. Menurut Ketua Pegawai Eksekutif Koi City Sanjay Punan, generatif AI juga mampu melaksanakan e-pencarian yang tepat dan pantas sekaligus menyelesaikan banyak perkara dalam aspek audit. And we run our own AI algorithms that run data uh, ransomware recovery, you know, scanning, uh, data entropy, a variety of sort of threat hunting capabilities. So that's one. And then generative AI it turns out to be an incredible way of summarizing historic data and coming on back with a quick summary. So we built the world's first, um, you know, what's called retrieval augmented generation, RAG, on top of secondary data and backup. So you can summarize everything that's been there for the last 10, 15 years on the CoEC platform and come back with a half page summary so for example maybe you're at a bank and you want to investigate a um, security breach that happened 10 years ago and you want to get a summary of what the previous CISO wrote about that breach at the time you could write in a GPT like window inside our interface please find me everything that we investigated 10 years ago in 2013 about this breach and come back with a one page summary i'm going to go get a cup of coffee and come back in 10 minutes and the system will go back using retrieval augmented generation so we've been building this under stealth we patented this technology because we're the only ones doing that co history uh, and we will release it in the next few months we're super excited about it so there's many use cases of ai and this last example i discovered uh, sorry i described generative ai um, is a very good way of being able, being able to do e discovery and search long term we think this will have open up whole new ways to provide insights. Sementara itu, Sanjay berkata generatif AI juga berkemampuan mengimbas data dengan tepat sekaligus mampu hadir dengan penyelesaian yang diperlukan. Justru AI tidak seharusnya dilihat sebagai ancaman kepada keselamatan cyber sebaliknya membantu menyelesaikan soal keselamatan cyber. So in the context of cyber security, what we want to be able to do is use AI techniques to better scan data. So the more that we're able to, to detect that data early on, we can then respond to it faster. And then we're also going to use AI techniques that we already do in many cases to be able to recover into a clean room uh, very effectively. So uh, the AI capabilities we have built in the product and have done for many, many years uh, allow you to be able to build better and better algorithms that can detect the presence of ransomware. In the, and, and security ultimately is an AI problem because the more that you are running your AI algorithms on data, the more likely you're going to find a pattern of some threat vector that could be an early warning to some malware that's operating maybe sometimes even sleeper cell on top of your data. Dalam pada itu Sanjay menegaskan dunia kini sememangnya menggunakan teknologi awan yang pelbagai atau multi cloud serta hybrid berbanding hanya menumpukan kepada penggunaan satu sistem sahaja. I think the world is hybrid and multi cloud but hybrid just means that you're going to have data center and edge in addition to, to cloud. So you have to think of those, if you're a manufacturing plant, you're going to have edge. If you're retail, you're going to have edge. Uh, you know, even sometimes in a bank, you're going to have edge. Uh, data centers are going to stay because there are some apps that are just better off built for the data center. And sometimes even for, for example, in our industry, a lot of the data protection of secondary and backup data needs to sit closer to the data centers and to the zone because people don't want to pay ingress and egress into a cloud. So I think the world is going to stay hybrid and it's also going to stay multi-cloud. For example, the reason you know, we are at the Amazon conference, but a lot of customers have SaaS applications like Office 365 that run in Azure, or they might have a Google workspace, a SaaS application running in Google. So I think every organization should build a robust hybrid and multi-cloud strategy. Sanjay ditemui di Amazon Web Services reInvent di Las Vegas, forum yang mengumpulkan pakar seluruh dunia dalam industri teknologi awan, AI dan pelbagai lagi.